Honorable Judge Curtis M. Swango Jr. presiding. Your Honor, we'd like to call Moles right to the stand. You swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help you God. I want you to point out Mr. Milam, if you see him here. There he is. Have you since that night ever seen him until alive? No, sir. The prosecution calls Mamie Bradley to the stand, the mother of Emmett Till. Mamie, please state to the court and the jury whether you could identify the body you saw there at the funeral home is that of your son, Emmett Till. I positively identified the body in the casket and later on when it was removed and placed on a slab has been that of my son, Emmett Lewis Till. And did you specifically caution him not to do anything to any white man so as to not bring about any trouble? I didn't specifically say about white women, but I said about white people because living in Chicago, he might not know how to act, maybe. We'd like to call Mrs. Roy Bryant to the stand. This nigga man came in the store and stopped there at the candy case. What did he do? He caught my hand. Gentlemen, those defendants murdered that boy. The very first words that entered this case were literally dripping with the blood of Emmett Till. I want that boy that did that talking down there in money. The wicked flee when no man pursueth but the righteous are bold as the lion. Every last one of you Anglo-Saxon men on this jury has the courage to set these men free. And when you go down to your lonely silent tomb to a place that knows no dreams, I want you to hold in the palm of your hand a record of service to God and your fellow man. And the only way that you can do that is to turn these 